should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. <clears throat> It hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? Put some ice on it. I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing now. You just go with him. <laughs> Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Rising, for sure. First day of my new life. Oh, good. I'm glad Mac's stupidity didn't ruin everything. <laughs> I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. I know literally nothing about kids. But he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. That's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye, thanks for supper. Yep. So I'm short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years experience as a server? Uh... Maybe not as long as that, but yeah, I've done lots of things. You want to work a shift? See if you might like it here? Sure. All right. So, we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Guess I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Can I get you to anything? Miss Chen, here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, ducky to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired. And this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that- uh, That we all knew you were coming. Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from DC six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? 
I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. <laughs> it feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people, and now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms, and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. My dad was in the service. Hey, Jed. Yeah? I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Uh-huh, and? One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. All right, let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. Ooh, now I know where the ramen is. No whiskey though. This all looks really fancy, but no rye whiskey. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Still want to hit the trails later this week? You kidding? I've been waiting for this all year. Shit. Now Mac's scared. 
At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Idiot. You're gonna lose her. You're gonna lose her and it's all your fault. At least he's right about something. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. Where are you going with this? Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated. I, I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> you really are a piece of shit. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. I, I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't... even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or... We're done. It's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About... why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So, how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me! Okay, um... Not exactly sucker punched, but he definitely started it. Oh, God. Were you there, too? Yeah, I was there. But, um... I need to get back to work. Sure. Alex, we'll, uh... We'll get out of your way. I can't believe you two. It sounds so childish. I know. I'm sorry. I just... get so worked up thinking of you with him. Alex Chen? Uh... So... You were there when your brother assaulted Mac Loudon? I'm Jason Pike, Deputy Sheriff. I'm gonna have to take you and your brother in for questioning. Mac assaulted Gabe. He's the one you want. <laughs> your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I'm only kidding. Uh, nobody's in trouble here. I, <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? <sighs> Oh, 
Oh, hey. Someone made a course about my life. Typhon's not a bad company. Once you get used to... Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks, though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now, though, if you want to chat. Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no. It's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? I've heard the term before. Live action role play. It's like a tabletop role playing game, but acted out in real life. Costumes, foam weapons, beanbag spells. It's great. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. I should get back to work. Okay. I've done what Jed asked me to do. I should see if he needs anything else. I got written up for leaving my phone on. It wasn't even on me. But I guess it started vibrating in my locker when I was on duty. Starting over from scratch like this? Yeah, there's sticklers about Fucking that. terrifying is what it is. Security You're telling me. I mean, sure. But it's not... Haven is nice. Just wish it felt like home. Hope we both get there soon. Damn boys, always fighting. Time to grow up. Should have seen Gabe go at it with Dad. He's come a long way. Damn, was that drank out of wine? Did I come on too strong? It was bold. I'll give you that. I could see if Jed needs anything else. Hey, Alex. Were you hanging out with Ducky and Gabe last night? Who told? <laughs> <laughs> so, Ducky apparently lost his favorite whiskey. Possibly upstairs? Oh, no. You remember seeing him with it? No, when I left, he was still down here. Oh, but you know what? You should check Gabe's wall of shame. Might have some incriminating evidence. <laughs> okay, thanks. I will. Well, I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. Haven is nice. Just wish it felt like home. This one's from yesterday. Hold up. It was Colonel Ducky on Gabe's couch with the bottle.
found this upstairs. In Gabe's couch? Really? Must have been a night. Many thanks, Alex. My pleasure, Ducky. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. To Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. done what Jed asked me to do. I should see if he needs anything else. My dad was in the service. Back again? I'm ready to take you up on that drink. All right. Wait, hey, Jed, can we get, uh... Thanks. And keep it quick. She's on the clock. <laughs> You know, your brother's been talking about you getting here for months. I'm starting to get the sense. I even remember exactly the day he found your number. He was telling everybody in this place. Really? Yeah. Pretty heartwarming stuff. Well, I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Yeah. I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Well, speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe. Haven has an indie movie theater. Impressive. How's your jaw? Is the pain bad? Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... Do you have a cooler under there? 
I like to hide beers around the house. Because, well, you never know. You never know what? You just never know. So, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized. That I can kick your ass? Yeah, I guess. You know, I never realized what your life must have been like. On your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. Then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. Kids in foster care fight a lot. I learned how to defend myself. I'd say. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? There's something off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. And this has happened for a long time. Like Mac, I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. He wasn't just angry at you, he's angry at himself. He thinks he's going to lose Riley. Did Riley tell you that? No, no one told me that. I just feel it. You sure it's not just, you know? It's not just in my head, Gabe, I promise. It's not from meds or stress or trauma or whatever. Real.
Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? It doesn't work like that. It's only when you feel really strong emotions. Oh. I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. You're like going inside their heart. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. <laughs> Getting beat up and having no friends? That's a super curse, dude. Okay, okay, maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. You can get in there. That's, that's really special. Special. That's really your take on all this? Totally. I mean, it's whatever you make it, right? But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. Tell me about the guitar. Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? Dude, what's up? Hey, is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. I told him not to wander off. I'll find him. Gabe, wait. Earlier, when I was talking with Ethan, he told me he was hiking up the mountains to explore the old mine. What? Why didn't you say something? I'm sorry. If he actually went up there, we need to move now. Okay, let's go. Ethan! Come on, pick up, pick up. Alex.
This way. Wow. Been a while since I was up here. You don't do your ranger stuff around here? Private land. Outside of my jurisdiction. Dad brought me up here a bunch when I was little, though. I was his miner in training. <laughs> that was back before mining meant blowing the tops off mountains. Any luck? Yeah, touch base with the safety team up at the site. They're gonna postpone tonight's blast until we find them. Oh. At least we're not racing the clock. Hey, you good? Charlotte's gotta be losing it right now. Hey, she's tough. Always has been. Come on, let's take a look around. This kid. Can you imagine the shit we would have caught from Dad if we'd done anything like this? I should have said something earlier. I didn't. I mean, when he said he was going to the old mine... Alex, it's fine. You couldn't have known. It's not your fault. Yeah. Still, though. I'm gonna go take a look around. Let me know if you spot any sign of Ethan. Sure. I can... do that. How was Ethan planning to get into the mine? Cool. A murder barn. Nope. 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 Super nope. How is the rubber zombie the least creepy thing out here? Hey, bro. Want to get wasted at the old mine? I don't realize until you're up close, but mining equipment is super... The real monster here is underage drinking. Alex, why? Why didn't you... No point in blaming anyone. We just gotta find him. Fast. He's right. Come on, Ryan. Everyone is depending on you. Ryan won't let his fear get in the way. I'm glad he's here. What happened here? Massive cave-in. Bunch of trapped miners. All nearly died. Jed led the whole team back to the surface. God. Yeah, that's the day Foreman Jed became local hero Jed. And then Typhon closed up this site, basically bought Jed the Black Lantern. Huh. Same logo. Did Ethan base his comic on this place? Okay. Okay. If the wall is an illusion... Nothing obvious. Maybe we should... Notice anything? No shit. I'll be damned. The whole story is about Ethan's character breaking into a monster stronghold deep underground. Sounds like the mind to me. Does it show where he went? Not sure. The comic ends with the monster hunter climbing a watchtower, which shows him where to go. There. The silo. I bet that's the tower. That's where he went. You're a genius. Yeah. Great find, Alex. Gabe, you want to take a crack at unlocking that gate? I'm on it. We should also be able to get to it through the processing building, if we can find a way in. Let's take a look then. Okay. E3. 
Ethan based his comic on this place. Maybe I should compare his drawings with others. Too bad nothing like this is in the comics. Thanor could have just plowed through the entrance. Wait, so... Did Ethan... Oh, man. I think there's like a... side door back there? I don't know. I can guess there might be. Give me a hand. Okay. <sighs> you figured that out from a comic book. Try to get the lights on. You try to figure out where Ethan went. Ethan must have come through here. How did he get out? Have I got some good news for you? What? Ethan must have gone upstairs. Pretty sure Ethan climbed these stairs. caution like an hour ago. Not in the comic. The silo. We're getting close. Reminds me of the snake thing in Ethan's comic. Ethan made the jump from here to the conveyor belt? Oof. Think I'll find another way through. Looks like Ethan climbed the conveyor belt out to the silo. Yikes. Worth a shot. Heads up! the door yeah turns out you gotta open it who knew the wonders never cease so this place was a death trap when it was operational too cool 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 okay I'll stay out but not wasn't in the comic wasn't in the comic. Maybe it's full of Twinkies. Those never go bad, right? Kinda wanna push all the buttons. Also, kinda scared to push any of the buttons. Ugh. 
Let's hope omens aren't really a thing. Ugh. Worse than sleeping on- Nope. Thanar doesn't battle any bed bugs. I hope Alex is right about this comic thing. We're burning minutes here. I hope so too. What took you so long? You never forget how to break a lock. It's like riding a bike. Where to next, Alex? Thanor looks out from the watchtower and spots the secret entrance to the stronghold. If we can just... There. That's where he's heading. That's by the ravine. Shit. Let's go. We close? Think so. Ethan! 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 Ethan? You okay? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of here. Just hang on. Don't! Don't, 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 don't! His fear is so strong. If I get near it... It's no good. We're too heavy. What about me? Alex, uh, are you sure? Remember how I taught you how to anchor a belay? Awesome, show me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all right. You sure? It's okay if you're not. No, I'm good. You know, I actually believe you when you say that. Alex, can you make eye contact with me? I'm gonna tie this rope around your waist. The other end is tied around your brother. He'll use that stump as a fulcrum to feed rope your direction. Follow? So far. Awesome. You're doing super good. Remember, 
Slow is steady. Steady is fast. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Hang on, Ethan. I'm coming. You got this, Alex. Go back! You'll get hurt! I'm not going back without you. You're stuck with me until we're both safe. Understand is to feel what he's feeling. Oh, fuck. I can't believe this is happening. I can do this. I can do this.
It can't see me. Bangle of vanishing, just like my warden. I thought that was just a story. Well, some stories are true, like monsters. So, you're gonna hold my hand, all right? As long as you're touching me, you're safe. Don't look down, okay? We'll be done before you know it. I'm headed back. Keep tight on the belay, Gabe. Not over yet. Oh god. Okay. One step at a time. There's nothing to be afraid of. I got you. But what if you let go? Shit. Do you think the log will break? I don't know. But if it does, I am gonna hold on to you so tight, okay? Okay. That's it. Come on. There you go. I got you. 